I've been asked to take a short video, if possible, of some peak-to-peak -peak voltages at different bands right quick uh, to see what the output values are uh, for comparative purposes for some other people who are also working on an IG-102. I had no problem doing that, and I'll tell you the parameters right quick. <clears throat> I put this in the middle right here. I shut off external modulation only because I'm measuring the RF and it makes it a lot easier to take a peak-to-peak -peak value with without uh, modulating an AF um, sine wave onto it. And as far as the attenuation goes, I have this set all the way for high, and this knob is turned all the way uh, clockwise for a maximum uh, output signal. And I I just went through the different bands and turned this up to the different values. And you can see that some of them have a greater frequency response than others. So I'm gonna go through right quick and point out all the values from A all the way to F, and annotate them in this short video. So this is 100 kilocycles to 320. This is 70 millivolts RMS, 204 millivolts peak to peak. This is 310 to 1100. We're looking at 58 millivolts or 174 millivolts peak to peak. Here is one to 3.2 megacycles. We're looking at about 100 millivolts RMS or uh, about 290 to 300 millivolts peak to peak. Here is 3.1 to 11 megacycles. We'll look at 78 millivolts RMS to 230 millivolts peak to peak. Here we have band E, 10 megacycles to 32 megacycles, and we are seeing 64 millivolts, 192 millivolts peak to peak. Here is band F and we're looking at 34 millivolts or 110 to 112 millivolts peak to peak. This concludes the frequency response exercise for the IG-102. Thanks for watching.